crescendo. Here come the chain links whipping across the field. 4180, the Iron Riders also leave the starting zone for red. Blue Alliance robots also exiting their starting zone as Stealth Robotics bump the chain links. And those flags in the air mean Aaron Schmidt's not happy with what he sees on the field. Those points will be added at the end of the match. But in the meantime, it is human operators in control and a 26 to 13 Blue Alliance advantage as we approach two minutes to go in this match. 59-41, the cast iron worker zinging a note up into the speaker for the Blue Alliance. Stealth Robotics trying to knock one home in the amp. They cannot, but they'll pick up and try again while 59-41 comes in behind them. Blue Alliance rocking and rolling. For the Red Alliance, it's 82-48. The chain links in the vicinity of their subwoofer. Can't quite tell from my position if they have a note in their possession. They do, it goes up, no good, but Orf, the Olympia Robotics Federation right behind them and they put two points on the Red Alliance board. 34 to 21 now as we are under a minute and a half to play. Blue Alliance continues to lead, but it is the Red Alliance now in scoring position as 41-8 of the Iron Riders trying to pick up a note from the source zone. Collision midfield as 4180 and 4089 say hello. And our referees start counting a pin. 4450, the Olympia Robotics Federation puts another note up into the speaker. Two more points for Red. And here come the Iron Riders with two points of their own. Red Alliance trying to close the gap. Blue Alliance, though, sees 4089 not where they want to be. They are caught under the red speaker and that's gonna be a real bad place for them to be if they're still there at the end game. Speaking of, 37 seconds to play in our match and the Blue Lions continues to lead on our unofficial real-time scoreboard. But a lot can change as we're about to hear a really cool guitar solo and then see some robots try to climb into the air. That sound, of course, means the end game period is upon them. 59-41, the Cast Iron Orcas trying to free their alliance partners, but putting themselves in harm's way to do it. 4180 Iron Riders up and onto the chain stage left. 8248, the chain links parking. And as the buzzer sounds, we've got a little bit of a mess to clean up. We're gonna let our referees sort it out and we'll get to your official final scores in just a moment.
Robot fans, chaos at the end of that match. One thing to report, Blue Alliance assessed a G424 foul for contacting Red Alliance robots as they were in the stage area in the end game period. That will result in the Red Alliance being awarded the ensemble rank point. With that and all other match points accounted for, final scores are confirmed in victory to the Red Alliance. 62 to 58. A lot of foul points in this match, but when all is said and done, the Red Alliance will take home three rank points. Two for the victory and one again for that awarded ensemble, thanks to the G424 foul. Match qual qualification match three is history. Match four on the way. We'll be right back.